What's up guys, Raymond here, also known as Rayvision, and check it out today, well we are going to be playing some Forza Motorsport 6. Now a couple of you guys have brought up the fact that I have not been doing much apart from Forza 6 videos, drift builds, and number ring races. Well, that will change eventually, but for the time being, unfortunately Forza 6 is the only game that seems to have much going on. I'm going to be doing a bit of Star Citizen in the coming weeks, but apart from that, Forza 6 is going to remain my main focus until other games come out, and uh, I'll get more into detail with that in my car vlog, so just stick around for that. In the meantime, today, well, we are going to be doing a drift build of the Nissan 240SX. Now, before we get started, just want to remind you guys, please leave your car suggestions in the comments below. If you have no suggestions, well, I won't build your car, and then you have no reason to be complaining I didn't choose it. Also, keep in mind, I only do one car a week. Eventually, I'll get to your car. It's just not today. Sorry. Um, so, the Nissan 240SX. This is really an interesting car. I really like how it drifts. It's such a cool, fun car to drift. It's really different than what I'm used to. I Because ever since Forza 6 has come out, all I've been doing is American Muscle drift builds. This is so much lighter, and it's so different drifting such a light car. When you go around the corner... You just feel it, you slam it sideways, and then you just go. And it's such an incredible feeling. I really like the SX. So, as usual, if you want to get this file, just go uh, and uh, either follow me as a creator or just go on Nissan SX, Drift, Best for Speed, and it shall be on, or the name or description of whatever it is, should be Ray Drift. So, if you guys are interested in checking it out, well, check it out. Or else, um... Round one of the drift tournament happened last weekend, and I was taken out first round. Drift King, I was not. Um, we were playing against uh, all of us, actually, all AR-12 crew uh, members that were representing were knocked out. So, um, literally, it was a first round. Nick lost, Alan lost, Alex lost, and then I went up against my guy. And for some reason, my guy managed to get a score of 200,000 on a map where my best score was only about... 169,000. Also, I really was not drifting at my best. I will say that right away. I was sucking so badly. And uh, I'll be the first to admit, I am no longer the DK. I am the former DK. There are two very big differences there. But apart from that, not much has been going on. So right here, you see me going around. This is where I love this thing, okay? So this car takes a lot of feathering. You cannot just go and slam it into a gear and then hold. You have to slowly bring up your the amount of gas you put on, and then you're able to hold these giant stretching out drifts like you just saw me do right there. It's really good for that. I don't know if it's because it's light or something, because when I uh, do American Muscle, it is a very different feel. They're a lot more tail happy. This thing is tail happy, don't get me wrong, but the American Muscle, like when you lift off the gas, it'll push deep into the turn. This thing, it'll slow down very quickly, um, and I just assume it's just, I don't know why it does. I probably because it's lighter. I honestly don't know. I'm no expert, but it really is a cool kind of different drifting style. And I feel like this is one of my new favorite drift uh, cars. It's definitely better than my cor the two Corvettes I made. Probably better than the GT500. Not sure if it's better than Chevelle, but if it is, that would make it number one. At the moment, it's between number one and two. It's on a tie. So if that is the case, well, look at that. This car is just amazing. I just really like it. It just goes sideways. Um, it's just really weird sometimes trying to get it to go sideways because like you'll put your foot down and it'll just spin out and you're just like, uh, what just happened? So like right here, I'm in third gear. Usually this is a turn that I'll do in fourth or fifth and this thing's just like, no, fourth, third, fourth gear, just a little bit of feathering, score some 10,000 points. That's how it's done. I mean like no effort into that turn. That was just literally amazing. See me come in here. And yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping it sideways because I'm not used to doing entries with this car. It's, it's the first of this guy and, and you hear random guys screaming around the lobby. But really, this is a cool car. At least I find it is. I really like it. I really, really like it. Also, just a reminder, because I like to do this every time I have a drift build, um, don't cross the line before everyone has a chance to finish the race. It just sucks for everyone else, especially if you're the guy who's driving an F1 car in a lobby filled with like drifters you're just being a dick i'm just telling you right now because that's what happened in this game um basically some guy in an f1 just basically crossed the line while i was still on my fifth lap and i was like well i'm not gonna make it so yeah 
stuff happens, but no worries. Look at this. Look how solid this thing holds. It just goes and it keeps on giving shift up the four, get it going sideways again. 13,000, look at that, Four, just shy of 14,000, that was pretty amazing, if you ask me, and I was in second place, and that's where I, <laughs> that's as good as it got, so as usual guys, I want to thank you all for watching, leave your comments below, hope you all enjoyed, leave your car suggestions in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.